What's up, guys? What's going on with the world out there? Black alien man driving. You know how we do it, cruise through the city. Yeah, today's topic is, if you stuck in your same city and you having a lot of problems, you in and out of jail, or you just battling with family members and battling and you just stuck in the same neighborhood and you ain't doing nothing for yourself, It'll be a power move to go ahead and get out of that city. Because, I mean, I done seen a lot of people, they just keep failing, keep going back to jail, keep doing the same thing. And it'd be that environment. You know, I was going through the same thing. When I first came home from prison, I wasn't doing the same thing, but I just started to see myself slipping and being around the same people and getting enticed to do the same thing because I knew how to get some money and I knew the best way to get it was going into the street. You know, working, I felt I felt good like my first year home. I mean, I felt so excellent after doing eight years. It felt good. But I didn't want to stay in that city. I knew it was like a problem for me. You know, and I seen some people change in their own city and do what they could do. But my advice for the people that be stuck in that city and can't move and stuck in the same neighborhood is to do something different, get out of there. I mean, I even tried moving close sometime and it just didn't work. I was too close to my city and I went right back to the city and I ended up getting in trouble and getting getting jail time and all that. So this is this advice is really for people that's in and out of jail and just stuck in the same neighborhood and just stuck in, in a lot of problems and can't see they so prosper. Me as a person, I once I did that and I got out of that city and I moved to a different city, I grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I ended up moving to Houston, Texas, which is a, you know, people that's from Houston, Texas, you know, they it probably wouldn't be different for them. But when I got here, it was real different for me from growing up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I mean, there wasn't no problem getting no jobs as a convicted felon. I mean, there wasn't no problem getting jobs in Pittsburgh either, but I just found myself being around the same people. If I wanted to go out, I, and that city's small, I see the same people, and everybody just, you know, just a bunch of foolishness. People have uh, beefs for two, <laughs> what, 20 years ago, beefs people holding on to, and people just don't like it because somebody else don't like you, and it just, you know, it's a bunch of trouble I just ain't need. But once I got out of that city, I mean, I prospered. Bought four kids. My, my woman had four kids. We bought her kids with us. And then we ended up making three while we was here. I mean, we ain't getting no type of rich money. And we, I mean, if you if you would see me on Facebook, you would think I'm getting a gang of money. But all I'm doing is working and surviving and making everything work. So not having that you know people looking on looking at me and just being away from everything just helped me just to focus on myself felt focus on my family and just and do what's right you know of course you can't take your same mentality to somewhere else and think you're going your mentality if your mentality ain't changing to, you know because some people will take that same mentality if you're drunk and you're moving from wherever you move from and you go to the next place and you a drunk, you still gonna be a drunk if you can't shake that habit. So, you know, don't think you gonna take your, your, your BS wherever you go, you gotta be mentally ready to change, but it, it, it helps a lot from being away from distractions, people that distract you and the problems and the neighborhoods that you grew up in all your life but you still stuck in. You know, it, it kills me when I come home and you know when I left the dude was the dude was slanging drugs and he was on the eight ball you know and I did eight years I come home and he's still copping eight balls you know what I mean and he ain't went nowhere he on that same corner like man come on man it, it ain't working it ain't working I mean you still on an eight ball come on God something ain't right you know what I mean and then I come home as dudes that moms and dads was cracked out selling their games and all that they smoking crack now. Come on, man. You seen what it did to your mom and all though, man. Come on. Why would you be out there using drugs like that? You seen what it did to your people. And now you on it. Man, it's, it got to be the most craziest thing. But I felt myself. It was a 20-hour drive when I uh, 
I drove from Pittsburgh to Houston, Texas, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. You could feel the chains breaking, man, when I was just leaving. Like, it was just like, like they were just snapping off me. Like, the strongholds were just ripping off me as I was just moving forward. And maybe that's not for everybody. Some people are supposed to take a stand and change right there so people can say, oh, man, if he change, I can change. You know, it's for, you know, some people ain't supposed to move. But I'm telling you, there's some people that are stuck in them same situations. They need to get out of there. Because even you moving, you could save your life and others because you might be the one that's causing harm to a bunch of people. You might be stealing all people. You might be doing a bunch of crazy stuff. And by you moving and getting yourself together, it helps keep a lot of other people saved, man. So, you know, y'all just take that into consideration, y'all. Y'all that's out there stuck like that. Stuck in them same cities, stuck in them same neighborhoods, and just stuck doing the same things. And I hope that bless somebody, man, to be able to be strong and just get out of your situation and, and move forward, man. There's always somewhere better for you. Man, y'all be blessed, man, and we gonna keep doing what we do, man. Stand blessed. Stand on point. Ooh, child, things you get brighter.